Ah, it like again, and hello, it's Vo, and welcome back to our playthrough of Magic Online. So we're going to go into match six. We've played five matches here. We've already got three wins under our belt. So we're already at 20 play points. We can still lose another one before we're at the make or break game. Hopefully we can win a few more before we inevitably lose our games. Head out of the tournament. There we go, so a bit of a wait to get uh, match made. But we're in. We've lost the dice roll, but there's worse things. Land seem fine. Seems like a keepable hand. One of the few hands we've seen that doesn't have Zakama in it. <laughs> so I might try and wait till we've got the forerunner out. Forecasting our merfolk. Might want to play on curve and get out the pioneer. New horizons, okay, that's fine. We like that. Press our luck rather than waiting. Seems more mana efficient to do it while we can. Hopefully we're not up against dinosaurs or something terrible. Our opponent's ramping their way up to. it going to be white right okay it's not what I expected get both of them ah, that's pretty good now we've got Sakama <laughs> not the draw we wanted but we'll accept it nonetheless I think if we get out the forerunner Maybe we get Kapala or just one of the unblockable people. I want to set up the plan of getting in with the Oracle and unblockable and drawing cards, getting our main engine going. Oracle and then Tempest Caller and then get in with our team. Bonds, that's a little bit of a disaster, but not the end of the world. Mm. Just a 2 2 vigilance. Maybe trade off. Go back to rebuilding our armies. Opponents can play a pump spell, it looks like. Yep. 
Well, that's a bit of a blowout. I still want to go with the plan of getting the oracle out. Still puts a counter on our forerunner. We can always use it to hunt the weak. It's not entirely useless to us. Just can't attack or block. Opponent's down at two cards, so hopefully they're running out of gas. Fill backs for two. Don't really like four twos. I think it's pretty bad stats. Tempest Caller, draw one card. It's not that great. Get out another Merfolk and the Prime Blade. We're going to pump up the Forerunner again. Cast the Prime Blade because we can. Next turn we can live the dream of drawing a card and making a treasure. So we can splash that Zakama. It's got another luminous bones. It's actually pretty annoying. So you know I want to just block this 4-2 with a 2-2. Two, two. I also want to live the dream of actually drawing some extra cards and making some treasure, so <laughs> to let it through one turn so we can at least get an attack in it's obviously what we want to do so we can move the prime blade and cast the tempest collar And we can move the Prime Blade and hunt the weak. And even if we make a treasure, we're not going to have enough mana next turn to Zakama. in, see if we get blocked. Let's <laughs> take out the Vigilance creature. I guess now we're free to hunt the weak. still useful to us even though it had been luminous bonded opponent <laughs> has 
has the ravenous dagger tooth, okay. No attacks. I guess we go for it so we can draw a card and make a treasure. Tap down our opponent's board. We've got no cards in hand. Any trickery? We're gonna get through finally. That's pretty good. We drew a Delver and we can afford to play it. Seems good. Pick up a land next turn. And we're able to make another treasure. And then we'll be up to zero. If we make a treasure, we're still not going to do it. We really need to hit, hit a land, so we'll play the auger first, see if we can get some land into our hand. It doesn't have really have to be a plains, but ideally. Well, there we go, there's three land. <laughs> so we know what we're getting for our next couple of draws. That's fine. Just need to make this treasure token. I presume they'll block this. So I can make their lifelink token. Yep. got our engine going. We can draw a card and make a treasure every turn now. I always put a counter on the jungle delver in response to the Wow, no blocks. Draw four cards, I like that. So we can dump our hand here. Cast all of these things. Which one do we want to water or not? The lifelink token. Make them despair a little bit. This is where they'll pick up something much better that we should have held on to our water not for. Maybe not. Another auger, but we're up to Zakama time, so. Gotta go for it. Keeping the meme dream alive. Here comes the karma. We 
we're gonna find the blocker. I don't think we need to gain any life. We're not in any hurry for that. I suppose we could have destroyed one of the luminous bonds. option of destroying Illuminous Bonds if we needed to. Attack him with a massive Forerunner. Attack with some, not all, just in case there's a Settle the Wreckage. No, it's not quite what I expected, but it's something. Seeing the champion is the best luck. Yep. The warrior, sorry. Uh, it's fine, we still get to draw a couple of cards. Make more treasure. Watch not to draw too many cards and uh, mill ourselves out. My opponent doesn't have any good ne good attacks. That was sick, yes. <laughs> opponent scoops. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, they couldn't really beat that. They weren't in a great position. I think we've got time. We'll jump ahead and look at the next game as well. So we're up to 40 play points. We're playing to get our fifth win. And that would get us up to 80 play points, which would be enough to play in another standard league. We can still lose the next game and still be in it. Two more losses and we get kicked out of the tournament. I like this style of tournament. Winning play points uh, is often more useful than winning packs. As the play points will accumulate until the point where you can enter another tournament. If you just win packs and you trade them off to get event tickets, you're probably going to put more money in to make up the event tickets to the amount you need. I think playing for play points is more grindy. Get better value. And getting to play up to 10 individual games I think is better than a potential 9 against uh, 3 different opponents if you're playing the best of 3. Feels like you get to play more magic when you play a tournament like this. But there's plenty of different uh, tournaments available on Magic Online. The leagues are obviously better for playing at odd times and always getting an opponent. I like playing the Swiss style tournaments where you have to play against the people in the same pod and you have to wait for them to finish. Sometimes the tournament as a whole can drag on. So our time in the queue is not being very friendly to us. Looks like it's gonna connect up here. Come on, opponent. Go. Right, so we're gonna get in here. We've won the die roll. Feeling positive. Well, two land, I would have preferred three, but Guess we can keep this. We've got a herald, which is where we want to be at the start. See if we can get another island and then Kapala turn three. Wilds. Wonder how many colours our opponent's playing. Well, we could be stuck if we don't get a third land in trouble. Just to 
strikes with our Miss Cloaked Herald and uh, win that way. Pretty sure our, our opponent would fry it. Okay, that's going to be an issue. Certainly a faster clock than ours. We'll have to get Sailor Memes out instead. It's a better blocker. And the treasure might be useful if we can't find any more land. But we still want to get the Forerunner out next turn. So it looks like they got three coloured dinosaur plan on the go. Well gelled if they see our Zakama. I'm not so happy about this land situation. We generally want to get Forerunner out, but maybe we we'll want to play the Augur so we can try and draw into more lands. He's using our one treasure now. I'd like to think it would count towards uh, us getting more lands. For the medium to long term. Well, a mountain and a prime blade. So we can draw the auger, put the waker back. Can equip the blade and maybe cast the delver. Mash. Went with the dinosaurs and the merfolk. How greedy. <laughs> Almost as greedy as playing Sakama in a merfolk deck. Yeah, not quite. Kind of still want to play this Forerunner before the other merfolk, obviously. Again, we know we've got the auger coming next. Kapala. If they do have any sort of direct damage spells, they're gonna cost them two more. Here's a drawback. That's fine. Future's not that scary. Again, we're going to want to draw some more land. We're going to be comfortable enough. We're really not getting it. So we'll put back the Waker and the Diviner again. That's pretty solid. Probably want to make some blocks here. Could just let it through, but... We can trade off. Tap in the knowledge that uh, they don't have any attack so they can't play any tricks. Seems like 
fair trade. It's finally time. Let's get out the forerunner. We really just want lands. We're not interested about putting a merfolk on top, but what could we get? Get our oracle, perhaps. Start drawing some extra cards. Make another one four blocker. Because we know the oracle's on top. So it's a guaranteed explorer. the week. Some I guess it is the one getting through and doing the damage, but I just feel bad for our opponent having to play Hunt the Week on that. We put a counter on, but we can't necessarily get through to do any damage. Hopefully we can get our forerunner up to a point that uh, our opponent can't really make any attacks. Can't believe they picked two evolving wilds. Polyraptor, no. Oh dear. We should just scoop out of respect to the polyraptor, I think. Deep root waters. A little late. Wish we could cast the Pioneer in the same turn. Maybe we equip the Forerunner? At least it can trade for the Polyraptor. It's not great, but... Polyraptor is pretty much going to shut down our game. Our unblockable minions. Blossom awesome Dread, that's fine. I'm really dreading another on the week. Wow, Tempest Caller. Do we just win? We have no cards in hand. Let's spin the wheel. Merfolk trigger on our forerunner as well. And we swing for victory. Pretty successful. Our combination of uh, Tempest Caller, Sea Seafloor Oracle. So we've got five wins out of a potential maximum of seven. If we make it up to seven wins, the tournament ends and we get the maximum prize. Even if we go out now and we get two losses in a row, then we've still got 80 play points in the bag. Obviously, we'd like to make it up to the 120 that we uh, essentially paid to get into the, the tournament. Even if we had two losses in a row, we'd still come away with 80 play points and all the cards that we've drafted, which I'd be quite happy with, to be fair. To be totally honest, I'd be quite happy with that. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll chop up the video here and then we'll come back in another video for the last two games of the tournament and we'll see how we go. So until then, take it easy, good luck in your games of magic, and I'll see you very soon.